How could the city have changed so much? Yellow fever was wrestling the life out of Philadelphia, infecting the cobblestones, the trees, the nature of the people. Was I living through another nightmare? What date is this? I asked Mrs. Bowles. Today is September the 24th, she answered. The 24th? That's not possible. I counted on my fingers. We fled on the 8th. When we left, there were reports of a thousand dead. Do you know what the total is now? It's double that, at least, she said. It slowed down those few cool days, but as soon as the temperature rose again, so did the number of corpses. The driver pulled on his reins to stop the horses. The road was blocked by a line of slow-moving carts, each pushed by a man with a rag tied over his face each holding a corpse. The potter's field is ahead, Mrs. Bowles said as she pointed to the front of the line. That's where they're burying most of the dead. The preachers say a prayer and someone throws a layer of dirt on top. Along one side of the square stretched a long row of mounded earth. The grave diggers had dug trenches as deeply as they could, then planted layer after layer of fever victims. Some of the dead were decently sewn into their winding sheets, but most were buried in the clothes they died in. A field plowed by the devil, I murmured. They're not even using coffins. I haven't seen a coffin for four, five days now, the driver answered. He flicked the reins and urged the horses on. At Fifth Street, the wagon stopped. Here's the orphan house said Mrs. Bowles. We've taken over the home of William Ralston, though we'll soon need more room. It was an ordinary-looking house, more expensive than some, but typical of Philadelphia. Brick front, windows trimmed in white paint, metal railings, and a thick oaken door. The driver helped down Mrs. Bowles and Susanna, then each of the children. Mrs. Bowles put Susanna in charge of shepherding three of the children inside and stayed to wave goodbye. The driver climbed back into his seat, then flicked the reins on the horses' backs. Remember what I said, Matilda, she called. Take care. Whatever you do, take care.